to pop off in YouTube. Rival Gaming here. <laughs> What's going on everyone, it's your Rifle here, and in today's video I'm going to be covering the new Omnigul Strike for the Dark Below DLC. There's actually some steps to be able to even start this strike. And some of the steps are you're going to be having to find the Hand of Crota, the Eyes of Crota, and lastly but not least the Heart of Crota. These are located in some hidden areas around on Earth. Some of them are pretty open, but they're still hidden around Earth. I'm going to go ahead and show you where all of them are. Alright, so the first two of the three I'm going to head to is less from spawn. You want to head past this trench, past these plane wrecks, and head up to the last array station building. Around the area where the door first opened, and you had to go up these set of stairs, and then you would enter a very, very dark room. This is actually where you will find a servant of Crota. It'll be located in the back right corner when you first enter the room. And when you find a servant of Crota, a whole bunch of other enemies spawn around. And one of those enemies will be the Hand of Crota, which is a knight. Take out the Hand of Crota, and that's the first step completed to get to this Amigul Strike. Now we are going to have to find the Eyes of Crota. And that is actually pretty close to this one. We're going to have to continue through this last array station building. And when you get to the area where you first fought your first wizard at, you can either go left through the left hallway or you can go right through the right hallway. Head to the back left of this room and go down this hallway. Once you finally make it outside, you want to head over to this building over here. And then just follow the path inside this building and it will lead you outside. And when you get outside, there will be a servant of Crota next to some treasure that you can steal. Once you end up stealing that treasure, a big war is about to begin. A hive ship comes out literally disguised ass and drops off the eyes of Crota. And guess what the eyes of Crota are? Acolytes. But once you kill all of them, that will complete your bounty, and now you'll have one more to find to complete all these bounties to do the Omnigul Strike. Alright, now I'm going to take you guys back to spawn, and we're going to head to the right side now, heading up through this building. Make your way through this building. Head through Dock 13. Alright, and when you get outside, you just want to head straight across, straight across the battlefield. And then finally, take a left down this path through this alleyway, and you'll make your way over to the Rocket Yard. Or a lot of you know it as the old chess farming location. But anyways, keep heading through it like you're doing the Devil's Lair Strike. You enter a room where you have to battle a few enemies, and then from that room, you just head down these stairs, and it'll literally be right here doing the ritual. I try to get up close to it just so you guys can get a better look at it. But as you guys will see, this is the Heart of Crota. Come to find out, the Heart of Crota is a wizard. Makes sense. Alright, so finally, once you have gotten all those bounties done, you then want to just take those bounties back to Eris. Every disciple of Crota that falls honors the hidden. Crota's watchdog has lost its horrid bite. Another of Crota's filth defeated. Soon. Omnigo will follow. After you turn them all in, you will get the Will of Crota. And this is the new Dark Below Strike. You are going to have to fight Omnigul. I'll also give you some strategies to fighting Omnigul, which will help killing Omnigul be a lot simpler. Before entering the strike, you want to be prepared to have solar and arc damage weapons. The reason why for the arc damage is because for the final fights, Omnigul will have an arc shield. But for the most part, you're going to be fighting enemies with solar shields. So make sure to have solar handy. And if you don't know by now, arc is blue, solar is red, void is purple. But anyways, once you finally get to Omnigul and fight her, there is a good setup to fighting her. There are actually two good setups, but my jump button broke yesterday. It's like stuck in and like now when I press it, it doesn't even work at all. Like literally at all. I had to do this strike without jumping. And I figured out actually a nice, nice area while trying to do this strike without jumping. Getting in this hallway right here, right before you enter the Omnigul, like after you activate the Omnigul fight, come out here in this hallway. And it's actually a safe area to fight Thrall because they are narrowed in. It makes the targets more easier of a target. Now, I'm not just saying this works well with Thrall. It works well with all the enemies because 
in the room that you have to fight Omnigul, it's cluttered, and you get surrounded easy. So this hallway is a good advantage point. You also have to remember in some waves, enemies can come out of this door right here in this hallway. But if you're backed up good enough, normally they do not. They only spawned once, actually, out of this area that I realized, and it was on one of the final waves of fighting Omnigul, when I had Omnigul at really, really low health. But yeah, just stay around this area, and if you have a squad, this area is actually easy to get revives in as well, because you are not surrounded, like you actually have some cover here. You can also get on top of the doorway, and that's also a nice little spot to have a lot of cover at. But once you've killed off enough enemies to think the room's safe to enter, enter the room and unload on Omnigul until that bitch screams. You don't even have to really leave this area either to do damage on Omnigul. Once she screams, that is your time to run, because she's sending all of her hoes after your ass. And you want to run to the advantage point, which is the hallway. And all you have to do is just keep repeating that over and over until you cleared out enough enemies to enter the room, and then go into the room and unload an Omnigul. And then once she screams, head back into this hallway, clear out enemies again, etc, etc. This setup is really nice to do, so guys, try this out when fighting the boss. Another little awesome spot to fight Omnigul at is right here behind these computers right here like I said I just couldn't jump in this game but you can get behind this area right here and it's actually a very safe area especially if you crouch but be wary though the explosions are able to get you back here but overall this spots also a really nice area to fight Omnigul well not technically fight Omnigul but clear out all the enemies around Omnigul so you can get a good shot on her not to mention when you defeat Omnigul, you actually get a special prize as well when you turn in this bounty. You get a cape. The reward for defeating Omnigul for your first time is a cape. And this is what it looks like, guys. It looks kind of like an Egyptian-style cape. Nonetheless, it's something different. And as you guys can see, it has a dust-torn symbol as well. And it's a short cape. It doesn't go all the way down to the ground. It looks nice. It looks different. It looks odd. But it looks nice. But I guess that's about wrapping up this video. Hopefully this video helps you all out. And if it does, can you please remember to leave a like? It helps me out a lot and helps the video out also a lot. But anyways, guys, I'm out of here, though. Thanks, everyone, for watching. And most importantly, thank you all for your time. Peace. Is to actually be the Super Saiyan and show you're a part of it. Just wasn't right. He had something missing. Just one little touch, he could have had it. One little touch. I really looked into it. And you know what the trick is? You gotta be the Super Saiyan to actually be the Super Saiyan.